what is up guys, HM Masters here today back with another LEGO Star Wars biddable figure review, this time on item number 75121, Imperial Death Trooper. This set includes 106 pieces. On the back of the box, we see some functions in another pose of the Death Trooper. The Imperial Death Trooper has a build very similar to Captain Phasma. Pretty much the entire core build of the actual figure itself is identical, although well, there are a little bit of slight differences in the back and just very tiny differences on the leg. However, I actually do think the build works pretty well on this figure, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. The height of the legs this time around actually does not bother me, and I think it's because of the use of this new armor piece. The new armor piece, which has been introduced for this new line of buildable figures, does a very, very good job of just covering up pretty much the entire bone piece, and it's relatively tall and it has a very nice look to it with the figure. Although I do wish on the ankles these gray extender joints weren't there. Now you know they are there because they want to fill in some gaps here on the bottom with these little Technic pieces, so that it is good, but I feel like it just kind of destroys the whole flow of the leg by being the only gray piece there. The gun on the Imperial Death Trooper is fairly standard. It's mostly black with little hints of trans red in there, and it looks fairly good. The only thing I don't really like about the look of it is from the top, you can see it's very, very gappy and just not filled in. But other than that, I do like the look of it. The function with it, just like all the other ones, on the bottom here, you have a little trigger, and what you do is you push it down, and the blaster will come flying out. Now obviously, similar to most of them with the thing on the bottom, it does flop around so you can't always have it in like a straight look, it will end up flopping around and have a little bit of a different look to it. And then on the other side, you can just see there is another blaster, so you do have another one if you lose it, which of course, like usual, is very well incorporated into the set. On the Imperial Death Trooper's right leg, there's another pistol, so when you take that off and remove the blaster, you can have this alternate pistol, which adds a nice little bit of playability to the set, although I do think the pistol does look a little bit awkward, and I do wish it was just a little bit longer. You could also have both the weapons at the same time if you wanted to. On the left arm of the Imperial Death Trooper, you can see a little bit of printing on this upper shoulder pad, and then you can also see this little bit of detailing on the bottom half of the arm. One of the main things that sets the Imperial Death Trooper apart from its counterparts is that it has this little pauldron on the one arm. It does look relatively good and is actually one single piece which you fold over where it connects to the arm here and then this folds over to go above and is held in place by the headpiece. It has a relatively nice look to it. It doesn't really obstruct any playability. You can move its arm up relatively high although there is a little bit of um, limitations by this piece because if you move it up too much, the piece will just pop off like that. However, that isn't too big of a deal, you just have to watch out for that. And the piece itself looks relatively nice. It also it should be noted that this little part right here is actually 100% built up by you with these little holes inside. The torso piece on the Imperial Death Cooper also reminds me a lot of the torso piece used on Luke Skywalker. You see side by side, you can see there are a little bit of similarities. But the torso piece itself is relatively nice. There's a lot of cool printings on there and it just looks relatively good. For me, the highlight of this set has to be his helmet. They did a phenomenal job on it. You can see on the little bottoms here, there's these two little green little um, sort of circles. And he also has the dark green visor, which is an interesting color. And I haven't seen them actually use anything like that before, but it looks really good here. On the side, you can see they have this little part coming out very well done. You move to this other side and you can see actually on the side there are a little bit of dents right over here which is just really nice details and even the back also has some details to it. So that's it for the Imperial Death Trooper. I was actually pleasantly surprised by this set. When I first saw it I was expecting it to be very similar to Captain Phasma and just feel like an extremely overpriced and just way too tall set. However that's not the case with this one. The piece count, although still feels a little bit overpriced to me at $25, I do think it'd be better suited at $20, not as bad. The alternate pistol adds a lot more playability to the set, which I felt that Captain Phasma really needed, so this really helps sort of even that out. And the set itself it has lots of nice details, it has a very nice look to it, I really like how the color scheme just works all throughout it, absolutely love the helmet, and I really like the elite look that the pauldron gives it. So overall, this is a very solid figure. 
My only issue with it is that I feel that it is obviously just a little bit overpriced. However, I would recommend this. That's pretty much it for my review on the Period Death Cooper. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, see you guys later.